Today we're going to show you how to install our supercharger to a one-fifth scale Reed gasoline engine. Hey, it's Bob with RB Innovations, and today we're going to take you step by step through our installation. The first thing you're going to need is our standard supercharger system for the one-fifth scale engines. The next thing you'll need for the Reed engine will be our Reed engine conversion kit. The first thing you want to do is install the clutch housing using the four bolts and Loctite. Next, we're going to install the belt and drop the clutch plate down onto the engine crankshaft. Next, you want to reinstall the clutch. Next, we want to start the assembly of the conversion kit. You want to install both pulleys to the mounting brackets and you want to make sure to use Loctite. Next, we want to assemble the mounting bracket to the main carrier and you want to do that again for the secondary pulley. Next thing, we want to remove the two screws from the outer housing. This is where the main carrier is going to mount to the supercharger. As you can see, the mounts for the idler pulleys on the supercharger housing interfere with this configuration. This is where the modification needs to be done. First thing you want to do is block off the intake and the outlet for the supercharger. Then you want to use a standard cutoff wheel for the Dremel and cut off both of these mounts for the pulleys. Next you want to just clean it up, this way there's no sharp edges. Next thing we're going to do is remove the back housing of the supercharger. Next you want to remove the housing screw, this way we can lock the shaft in place. Go ahead and remove the outside overdrive pulley. Carefully remove the impeller and then remove the two screws that hold the supercharger to the engine. You want to replace those two screws with the screws that come in the conversion kit. Reassemble the impeller. An optional upgrade for the supercharger are overdrive pulleys. We sell them in a set of three. At this step, it's a perfect time to install the overdrive pulley to the supercharger. One critical thing you never want to do is remove the shaft from the impeller. Those are dynamically balanced and you don't want to remove that. Next thing you want to reinstall the shim washer and then install the overdrive pulley you wish to use. Then you'll want to apply Loctite and then retighten that screw again using that shaft locking tool. Lastly you want to reinstall that screw using Loctite now you're ready to finish the install. Next we want to install two screws into the side of the supercharger. Next you want to install the intake gasket, the flange plate, and then another intake gasket. You want to set those on to the engine. Next we want to drop the supercharger in place and lock it down with the two screws. Next we want to make sure the o-rings are all in place and then we're going to replace the rear half of the supercharger. Next you want to install the mounting assembly for the pulleys. Now we want to install the belt. You want to draw it from the bottom up towards the top. Then you want to go ahead and pull the belt over top of the idler pulleys. You want to remove the crank locking tool. This way we can spin the engine around and make sure the pulleys are aligned properly. You want to make sure to adjust the pulleys up and down as well as the proper angle to make sure the belt rides directly in the center of the idler pulley. In this process, you might also notice the clutch housing might need to be modified. You want to make sure you have proper clearance between the belt and the pass-through on the clutch housing. Next, we're going to disassemble our custom GT5 for the reed engines. Drop the bolts through the mounting plate, assemble the gasket, then you want to drop the carburetor right on, followed by another intake gasket, and then we're going to assemble it to the supercharger. Next we want to finalize the assembly of the filter. What this filter assembly allows is the filter to be dropped to a lower position for a perfect mount inside the Baja chassis. As you can see the roll cage fits directly in place just like it normally would. Lastly you want to reassemble the entire chassis linkage and all and you're ready to go. For more information visit our website at rbinnovations.com, like our Facebook page, follow us on Twitter, and make sure you subscribe and like this video. Thanks for watching.